Here's a quick music theory analysis of the intro to Thunderstruck by ACDC. Now, disclaimer, they probably weren't thinking about this in these terms. Few musicians really think about theory when they're writing, but it does help us understand it, to reproduce it, and to play something like it in the future. First of all, the song has a B tonal center. I mean, it's rocking out on the D string, right? And this first part of the lick is actually a B major arpeggio. B, B sharp, and F sharp. So, so far we're solidly in a major tonality. It could be mixolydian. So here's the difference between major and mixolydian, or Ionian and mixolydian, in terms of half steps and whole steps. So for major, you have a root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. For mixolydian, you have a flat seven. That last note is one half a step lower. So it goes root, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half, and then whole. That's mixolydian versus one note different. And that's a mode that ACDC loves and puts in a lot of their music, but that's all we have so far. But then things shift and you have a note, a flat six that is in neither major nor mixolydian, which again is major, but with a flat seven. You have this note instead though. I'm going to say mixolydian is the background tonality because of what's coming next. Let's assume that. If you add that flat six, you have what some people call mixolydian flat six, pretty naturally. That's great so far. We have this really interesting tonality where it's kind of a mixture of major and minor. But then you have this descending lick. Which is just straight mixolydian. Which is why I said a second ago, looking forward, we have a mixolydian background here. So even this major triad right here fits into mixolydian as well. That's the only surprising note right here, and it does stand out when you listen to it. But then it's completely abandoned with that descending lick. It just shifts right back to full-on mixolydian with that major six instead of the flat six. And here's a bonus. Yes, when Angus Young plays this live, he often does the hammer-on pull-off way of playing it and so on. But when he's playing it on the record, he does pick it. Give it a try.